I was a bit of a distraction, kind of bugging her during studies. And he just walks by demonstratively and asks another classmate to dance. Kissing in class loudly. That never happened. How did you communicate before you started dating? Back in 10th grade, I sat in front of her. She was at the last desk, and I was at the one before it. I was a bit of a distraction, kind of bugging her during studies. It was a bit unpleasant, to put it mildly. I'm not sure if I liked her then, or if it was the beginning of something more for us. There wasn't exactly animosity, but there wasn't friendship either. I don't remember anything like that. We just had our own friend groups. We didn't really interact, you could say. Just the usual, hi, can I copy your homework? When we talk about those days, my wife says I was not great in school. She really didn't want to interact with me much. But then, somehow everything turned around. I don't know why I had another love interest at the time. How did your relationship begin? He was a top student in school, and I was, well, good, but not as good as he. He started helping me prepare for exams, and just like that, we began trying to meet up more. We had a really great teacher, too. He told me that I should help her study. She's a good girl. We were always in the same group because our school only had two classes of our age. Our classes were small, 15 to 17 people, in a small school. He caught my attention by disrupting my studies. You know, we were all studying together, and my strongest memory is of him making it hard for me to learn. And then, I fell for her. She captivated me right from our school days. That's how it all started. We broke up for a year when we went to university. I thought moving to a new city would bring new experiences, new acquaintances. But in the end, I started visiting her in the first year under the pretext of needing help with chemistry, though I could actually handle the university-level chemistry myself. But my friend and I would go to her medical university dorm, asking her to help with a few problems. And that's how it evolved into a serious relationship. Our relationship started quite abruptly, to put it that way. I had just ended another relationship, and on that same day, I walked her home for the first time and noticed something in her. I asked her out, walked her home. It was summer, a free-spirited time. She would call me, and we'd message each other on social networks. After he walked me home, I wasn't opposed. After all, we were classmates. I didn't resist, if you will. Our meetings turned into a relationship. What difficulties did you face during school? Probably one of the challenges in school was that we were always together. If we needed to cool off after a quarrel or get some space, we had to find ways to switch seats or seek another solution. My sheer jealousy about everything. <laughs> who you're talking to, who you're messaging online, who are these friends of yours? Let's check now. I don't know. It was that kind of jealousy. Yeah, I felt the same. He was always sitting with this one girl. Then he moved to sit with me. And I was really jealous of that girl. And I was like, look, be careful where you sit. There was jealousy, but it ended right after graduation, just disappeared. I was jealous of her because there was a classmate who also had feelings for her. A bit jealous. Yeah, me too. There was this one time, he got jealous and we were standing near a wall, waiting for the dance. And he just walks by demonstratively and asks another classmate to dance. That really stuck in my memory. Back then, we didn't really show our true characters, so there were no reasons for fights. That came later, when we became... More open with each other. Have you gotten tired of each other over the years? Girls walk around well, with many boys, and you're just with one. We've known each other 17 years. Well, on the contrary, it's probably cool. Knowing him for so long, growing up with him, remembering how little he was, running around here and there. Especially those photos, like from third grade, where we're standing next yeah, to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that actually brings us closer in a way, making us more, well, honest in life. There are those family domestic moments. Sometimes, it's not about being tired. It's just wanting to go out. Maybe hang out with friends, do something on my own. But as for getting bored, a day without my wife feels like sadness, sorrow, longing. She's the best companion, a friend, almost like a brother. 
we've known each other for 20 years. The first 10 years we just studied in the same class, so we learned about each other, but not deeply. When we started dating, we discovered something new every year. I keep finding new, interesting, and good things in her, so I'm never getting bored. How did your classmates and teachers react? One year on the first day of school, we already arrived as a couple, sat at the same desk, and there was no awkwardness since most people in the class knew about our relationship. I remember when we started dating, we decided to make a post saying we'd been dating for six months when it had only been a week. We wanted to trick our classmates thinking they'd say, no way, that can't be. But they believed us. They were like, how did you hide it? They were surprised. We were two seemingly different people. They thought we never interacted at school. And then suddenly, this. It was like we just started dating out of nowhere. Yeah. Teachers didn't react at all. Yeah, probably no one knew. Only after school did we go for walks along the promenade. We'd say goodbye in the back streets and go our separate ways. There was a bit of awkwardness in front of the teachers. They made comments during lessons. Teacher gave us looks that meant, no, 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 stop interacting with each other. When we sat together in school, the teachers started to realize we weren't just sitting there. We were still kids. There wasn't anything, like, we didn't allow ourselves anything. Like, kissing in class loudly. That never happened. Our teacher, she seems happy for us. Of course, she orchestrated all of it. We were sitting next to each other in the assembly hall, and a couple of rows behind us was the deputy head. I was told to go on stage to get something, and then I heard behind me when another teacher asked, why did you seat them apart? How did your parents react to your relationship? Our parents were supportive. We live in such a small town. Everyone knows each other. It was clear they knew each other, and everyone was happy. Like, oh, our kids are in love, how wonderful. We were well regarded at school, and my mom was probably relieved like, finally. There wasn't much reaction, because probably no one took it seriously at first. We went to university in the same city, and our relationship continued. Then the parents started to realize it was serious. Everything was good. So, it was smooth sailing. Everyone took it as a normal thing. They saw and knew that the boy was, in general, a good one, and there was nothing bad with him at school. So parents were not against it. They didn't need to be specially introduced. Well, we formally introduced our parents. They knew each other. Yes. Well, my parents never said anything bad about my future wife. What are the advantages of a marriage between classmates? It's much easier to interact with someone when you know where they come from, how they grew up, and you've seen it, even if just peripherally, but you still have an idea of who they hung out with, where they got their character traits, where it all developed. You just know their entire life story. And essentially, you already understand whether such a person is right for you or not. A big pros of relationships that started in school is that the adaptation period very short. We knew each other and already knew a lot about each other. And probably, that period when people are getting used to each other passed very quickly. But I like the fact that we are the same age. We have, in my opinion, many more common topics. I think, on the contrary, it's not hard to start such relationships because you've already known the person for a long time. You've interacted with them over a sufficiently long period and roughly know what to expect. It's not that scary. At least, it wasn't for me. But I would like to add, I knew her about 40%. When we started dating, new facts came to light. Before the wedding, well, you always think something. What if? But there was almost none of that. So the person was already so familiar, and so your type. Only positive aspects. I can't say anything bad about being married to a former classmate. And you'll never go to a homecoming party alone. You always have a partner.